With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, so our question is the two chloropropane with sodium and dry ether gives what? First of all, we have to know what is the Bohr's mechanism in order to solve this question. What happens? We are having the alkyl halide. Suppose we are having, we have given two chloropropane, so its structure will be CS3, it will be CH, here it will be Cl, it will be CS3. Now what happens? We know that the chlorine is more electronegative than that of carbon, so it will be a negative charge due to which it will act as a leaving group, it will leave its molecule and there will be a formation of the carbocation like this CS3, here it will be C positive, here it will be H, here it will be CS3. Now what happening here? We are having the Na which is electropositive metal, it gives its electron and gives the formation of the Na plus and one electron. So here in order to convert carbocation into the negative charge, we have to just need two Na so that it can give two electrons. So on giving two electrons, it gives the formation of two Na plus. Now what happens, these two electron add on it. It gives the formation of CS3, C minus, here it will be H, here it will be CS3. Now, what happens further? We are having the other molecule of uh, two chloropropane having a structure like this. We are having CS3, it which it will have CH, here it will have Cl, it will have CS3. Now, here the chloride ion will act as a living group. This uh, negative charge will act as a nucleophile, it will attack on this electron deficient carbocation to which there will be a formation of this CS3, CH, CS3, here it will be CH, CS3, CS3. So if you try to keep it side pack naming, so we have to just check about the longest carbon chain. So we are having CS3, CH, CH, CS3, this is the longest carbon chain. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. We are having methyl group as a substituent at 2 and 3rd position. So it will be 2, 3 dimethyl. And for n is equal to 4, we use the butane having the alkane group. So from here, what we can see that our first option is correct. I hope you got this concept. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.